So nowadays we can see like a lot of businesses are actually adopting cloud computing. Right? Uh, there are like a lot of reasons why they are moving. So let, let's see what are the current challenges which are faced by the companies, right? Which make them to adopt cloud. Licensing cost, right? It's a major cost for companies. So they, the, most of the time they are not aware like how much licenses they need to purchase. Okay, they want to use the application, but they are, they are not aware how, how much licenses they need. Or if they have a licenses and some few people are adding or going from the company, they don't know like how to cut the cost, right? So they cannot analyze that cost. Latest technology or upgrade, so this is another challenge, right? How to keep the infrastructure updated, right? So again, it's a cost for the company. Protecting data, how to protect the data right in the organization. It's another challenge. Right skill set, finding right skill set is also another challenge for business. Because the business has to concentrate on its core uh, offerings, right? But rather than that, they are like more uh, occupied with the IT stuff nowadays. Operational cost, right? It's going high by high. Then operations continuity, right? How to keep the operations continue. Upgrading hardware, how to upgrade the hardware and how to dispose of the obsolete hardware. It's another challenge for the company. And technology as you see, it's changing day by day. So most of the IT departments are focused to spend a significant portion of their time on frustrating implementation, maintenance, and upgrade projects that too often don't add significant value to the company's bottom line. So company has a different business, but most of the time they are actually engulfed in the IT operations, right? And they lose focus from their core business. So every company asks, right, can cloud help me? Should I move to cloud, right? How can cloud help me, right, resolving the issues? And there are like further more uh, challenges we can discuss in detail. So if I talk about the infrastructure side, okay, managing data center facility and space itself is a cost. You have to set up a data center and that too it's a cost for the company, right? Then providing power and air conditioning to the data center, it's again a cost for the company. Okay. Coming to the management, then finding the right skill people. Okay. It's, it's another challenge for company. Upgrading hardware, upgrading software, maintaining software, doing the day-to-day -day maintenance work in the data center, or keeping the software updated, hardware updated is another challenge for IT nowadays. Then handling operational failure is another segment, right? Uh, which is a big challenge for company, right? How to maintain 24 bar 7 operations. Most of the companies are working in 24 bar 7 uh, format nowadays, right? They have a global businesses. So if their data center is down or servers are down, again, it's a kind of a money loss for the company, right? Or the business loss for the company. Then IT security, how to provide security to the data, right? It's another challenge. And protecting data center facility itself, it's a challenge nowadays, right? Hurricane is coming, right? And tsunamis are coming, right? So even physically protecting a data center, it's a big challenge for companies nowadays. And again, licensing costs, right? It's very difficult for companies to analyze, right? How to manage the licenses. Sometimes they have a license for a particular software for hundreds of users, right? but the only users who are using that license is only 20 years. So effective use is 20 licenses, but they have paid a cost for 100 licenses, right? How to cut that cost, it's again a big challenge. Then IT application management, as I said, upgrading application, right? Keeping application par with latest changes, features, right? It's another challenge. So if they want to upgrade application, it's a, again an additional cost for a company. And how to scale application requirements, right? Application, hardware, software, um, hardware demand is increasing day by day, right? How to scale their application, right? According to requirements, it's again becoming a very big challenge for the company. So these are the few challenges which are actually sought out if they adopt the cloud 
business and if i talk about like uh, uh, cloud business in in the indian context right it's it's not very overwhelming as of now but a lot, lot of indian companies are now looking forward for cloud but uh, if i talk about outside india right many companies have adopted the, the cloud computer now nowadays so if if i talk about the benefits of cloud reduce cost okay you pay what you use companies subscribe to the services mm -hmm. and as they use those services they have to pay the cost okay it reduce reduce the overall it expenses right hello Hello. So it reduces overall IT expenses by cutting down the costs on hardware and software networking, etc. Then rapid scalability, right? You can provision the servers very fast, right? You you can provision the required application software very fast if it's a cloud, right? You can easily add up required bandwidth, processing speed, data storage, or number of licenses in very short time. And most of the data centers nowadays. who are offering cloud services they are actually almost automated right it's 100% most of the data center have achieved 100% automation so you just place a request within half an hour one hour you will get the resource and of course organization can store more data than on private computer system highly automated so as i said there is no need for it to worry about paying for future updates in terms of software and licensing or hardware <coughs> disaster relief so as i said uh, protecting a data center uh, from natural calamities is another challenge right so if if you have a you have, you have adopted a cloud computing with your company data it safely store your data right on the data center instead of your own server room or a data center losing power due to hurricane or ke or any construction work worker cutting the power lines right that won't impact your operations because the data center which are providing a cloud service are highly available data centers right and you can access if you have a internet connection as it said from anywhere and from almost any device flexibility so cloud is very flexible right as i said it's automated right cloud computing offer much more flexibility than fast computing method right so if you place a request for a specific application or service right that can be taken care within like half an hour or one hour you you have a application and you can just start working on those so services availability is very fast more mobility so as i said you can connect from anywhere since since it's over the internet right so employee can access information wherever they are rather than having to remain at their desk so it's a big advantage so most of the time now right uh, there is a concept of work from home work from field right people are more into traveling nowadays so they can connect with the cloud computing right so from anywhere and as i said almost from any device allow i to do shift focus no no longer having to worry about constant server updates and other computing issue organization will be free to concentrate on their core business right they don't need to worry about the it operations now okay because they have already adopted a cloud so they can concentrate more on their businesses in spite of concentrating on their it stuff right so it shifts a focus for a business world class service delivery so cloud computing infrastructure offer much more great scalability complete disaster recovery because they are like highly available data centers and impressive up to up time number so almost every cloud computing is these days actually offer 99.5% of availability time right if i talk about in terms of service availability coming to the deployment method so when we talk about cloud right there are certain